Uh, hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing what is probably my most requested video ever in which I show you how to play a mod. And in case you forgot which mod specifically that was, I'm going to put this meme as my wallpaper to show just exactly what you're getting into. So a major thing to note, this is a mod for Battlefield Vietnam, and if you are one of those people who does have the game installed but runs into the error of please install either Battlefield Vietnam CD when you try to load a mod, I will provide a timestamp in the description below so you can jump to that part and figure out how to bypass that problem. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to head over to my YouTube, which, um, ever I'll just load up my channel, uh, the Calcman, I already visited it before on this uh, brand new account. Oh yeah, I, I created a brand new account just to simulate what you guys will experience and also to hide my uh, unnecessarily cluttered desktop. So we're going to head over here. Oh, sorry about that. Head over to here. Uh, you guys can search it up in the YouTube bar, like search up the, the Calcman. It'll literally be right there. And I'm going to head over to the last video that I have the download link in, which is this one. And go over here to the drive link I provided. Uh, yeah, of course. And uh, just click the download button. It doesn't matter about the preview. They download that anyway. And uh, my Wi-Fi isn't the best, but I will check back with you guys once this is done. Okay, now that this download is complete, we can close this. We won't be needing that anymore. So we will head over to our file manager in the downloads. And uh, this this will probably have a different icon for you unless you have the same uh, unzipper that I commonly use, a B1 archiver. But I will be using simply the file manager to unpack it. So what we're going to do is take this. This is the main folder, unzipped folder. Drag it over here to desktop. Uh, this will <laughs> also take a while. Okay, now check the contents, should be all good, yep. And so what we're going to do now, this is the important part. So we're going to go to the local disk, uh, program file, not, do not do x86 because, well, unless you want to change the shortcut, but just for convenience, just for ease of access, we are going to go to the path in which I originally created this Battlefield Vietnam folder. So we're going to do the program files. And so right click off to the side here, right click, click new folder and name it EA Games, EA Space Games, all capital. And drag Battlefield Vietnam over to that folder. And now, because it is in the, if it is in the correct place, then yes, these icons should show up correctly. And if we try to load one of these mods, there we go, works. So uh, let me turn on the volume. I, I, don't, I don't know why I set the volume too high. I don't really remember doing that, but whatever. I'll just lower it right here. And one thing you want to do, I, I think I, I, I had it set to a much bigger resolution, but for some reason when uh, I downloaded it from Drive, it ended up being at a smaller default, at the default resolution of 800 by 600. So if you want a bigger screen size, because I don't think anyone has an 800 by 600 computer anymore, uh, you're going to go here and change, just change it to here. This is the, I think this is, this is the max and it'll still fit the screen. So you're going to click this and click save. And if we try to load up a mod, uh, let's just load up a random map, uh, whatever, Western Bosnia. Yeah, it doesn't have the actual Western Bosnia, but whatever. See, clearly, map works. I can fire this RPK thing, if I remember correctly. Yep, RPK, fire off this Makarov, and bam, mod works. And also included is the uh, Battlefield Kosovo mod, or in more specific terms, as per the official mod name, uh, Serbian Special Forces, and that should work as well.
Ah, see? And clearly this mod works as well, and you can hop in any aircraft and defend yourself from the NATO aggressors. Okay, so for anyone who does have the original game installed, but it runs into the error of please install Battlefield Vietnam CD when you try to load it through the uh, custom launcher, what you're going to do is do none of that. Do not load it through the custom launcher. So instead what you're going to do is you are going to be creating a shortcut like these two that I created for the two mods I have installed in this. So what you're going to do is... Uh, actually... So you will need this. This target field is the most important thing you'll need. What, whatever is in this target field is the most important. This will be in the description as well, so I'll save it for later. So assuming you have none of these, you are going to right-click this and create a shortcut and just name that whatever. Um, Happy You Go War Simulator. Done. Then you're going to go to right click, right click it, select properties, and this target right here, select all and paste. And yeah, this field, this field right here is the most important. This will launch the uh, Battlefield Balkan mod, whatever mod field you have set here. So, and this, yeah, I, th I believe it is case sensitive. So this field, if you want to launch this, then you have to copy this and paste it right there, like that. And then it will launch the uh, Battlefield Kosovo mod. Should. Voila. And that's it. And that's how you install this. So I apologize for the great long wait on this video. And the long wait is um, due to a combination of things. But it's actually not because of this. It is because I have another video planned that I have been working on for quite a long while, for most of December, that actually does not involve a Yugoslav country. So that should be interesting. And I hope you guys will like the surprise. But until then, see you next time.